Right now at five, the city of Milwaukee wants to settle a lawsuit with the family of Seville Smith for $4 million. Smith's death by a former Milwaukee police officer sparked civil unrest in Sherman Park four years ago. Rebecca Clough is at City Hall where that decision is now in the hands of the Common Council. The city had been fighting a wrongful death lawsuit with the family of Seville Smith. He was shot and killed by a former Milwaukee police officer. Now it appears the two sides are ready to settle just before the case was set to go to trial. Milwaukee's city attorney wants to pay the family of Seville Smith $4 million to settle their wrongful death lawsuit. Smith was shot and killed in 2016 by former Milwaukee police officer Dominique Hagen Brown near Sherman Park. The shooting set off civil unrest in the area for days. <laughs> Hagen Brown was charged with first degree reckless homicide in Smith's death, but a jury later acquitted him. Hagen Brown was convicted on unrelated sex assault charges, including one that happened the day after Smith's death. After that, Smith's parents filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city. While criminal justice is one form of justice, it's not the only form of justice. The lawsuit was set to move forward in federal court next month. Now the city is proposing a $4 million settlement. That's a bigger settlement than Derek Williams' settlement with the city for $2 million. He died in the back of a Milwaukee police squad car. Dontre Hamilton's family settled with the city for $2.3 million. He was shot and killed by a Milwaukee police officer in Red Arrow Park. And the stop and frisk lawsuit was settled for $3.4 million. ACLU sued on behalf of half a dozen black and Latino residents who were stopped without probable cause by Milwaukee police. It's important to note this is just a proposed settlement. The Common Council would still need to approve it. We reached out to the attorney for Seville Smith's family. He didn't get back to us. We also reached out to the family who says they're not ready to comment yet until they learn more information. We also reached out to city council members. They also declined to comment. The settlement is going to be brought before the Finance Committee at City Hall next week, October 28th. Reporting at City Hall, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.